हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू गेट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स गुरुजी क्लासेस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ पीरियोडिक एंड नॉन पीरियोडिक सिग्नल्स आई थिंक दैट द लास्ट वीडियो वाज अपलोडेड बाय मी एट लीस्ट वन वीक बिफोर एंड आई प्रॉमिस यू दैट फ्रॉम दिस डे आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यूसली अपलोड वीडियोज एंड आई विल ट्राई टू कवर द कम्प्लीट सिलेबस ऑफ गेट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल by the end of december so let's start with the concept of periodic and non periodic signals as has been given here the definition of periodic signals is any signal that repeats itself after a regular interval of time is termed as a periodic signal so if you look at the definition we need to understand what does this repeating means i said that any signal that repeats itself after a regular interval of time is called as a periodic signal by repetition we mean that the value or the amplitude of the signal repeats after a regular interval of time so let's try to explain this concept with an example suppose we have a signal x of t and this signal repeats itself after every 10 seconds so what i am what so what i am saying is xt is the signal that repeats itself after every 10 second if you look at this signal xt here x is the dependent variable dv stands for dependent variable here t is the independent variable iv stands for independent variable and suppose t is given in seconds i am saying that t is given in seconds so that's all i have said i have a signal xt which repeats itself after every 10 second so let us try to go a bit more depth into this concept suppose i am drawing a time axis time axis matlab time axis means an axis such that every point on this axis denotes a specified instant of time every point on this axis refers to a specific instant of time suppose this point corresponds to tth second right suppose this point corresponds to t plus 10th second suppose this point corresponds to t plus 20th second suppose this point corresponds to t minus 10th second like this okay now see i have said that the value of the signal repeats itself after every 10 second for the signal xt this means that the value of the signal at tth second will be same as the value of the signal at t plus 10th second because the value is repeating every 10th second right what is the value of the signal at tth second nothing but x of t what is the value of the signal at t plus 10th second nothing but x of t plus 10 right and i said that the value of the signal is repeating every 10 second this means x of t should be same as x of t plus 10 similarly t plus 20th second comes 10 seconds after t plus 10th second right because if you subtract from t plus 20 t plus 10 you will have 10 second so clearly t plus 20th second comes 10 seconds after t plus 10th second and i said that the value of the signal is repeating every 10 second this means that the value of the signal at t plus 10th second will be exactly same to the value of the signal at t plus 20th second what is the value of the signal at t plus 20th second nothing but x of t plus 20 so clearly x of t plus 10 will be equal to x of t plus 20 similarly t minus 10 second comes 10 seconds before the th second 
so the value of the signal at t minus 10 second should be exactly same as the value of the signal at th second what is the value of the signal at t minus 10 second it is x of t minus 10 so clearly x of t minus 10 should be same as xt right so what we have obtained from this if i write this whole thing in a single sentence i can write that x of t should be same as x of t plus some n times of 10 where n belongs to an integer i stands for integer and this sign means belongs to sign right see when you put n equal to 1 you will have x of t equal to x of t plus 10 and see x of t is clearly equal to x of t plus 10 as we have often if you put n equal to 2 you will have x of t is equal to x of t plus 20 and you see from here also i have x of t equal to x of t plus 20 if you put n equal to minus 1 you will have x of t is equal to x of t minus 10 and see x of t is clearly equal to x of t minus 10 so clearly i observe that the signal xt is repeating not only after 10 second but after every integral multiple of 10 second if you put n equal to 1 you will have x of t is equal to x of t plus 10 but if you put n equal to 2 you are going to have x of t is equal to x of t plus 2 into 10 similarly if you put n equal to 3 you will have x of t is equal to x of t plus 3 into 10 so clearly the signal xt is not only repeating after 10 second but it is also repeating after every integral multiple of 10 seconds right up to this part okay so i hope that what i have discussed till now is totally clear to you all right now see this 10 second after which the signal was repeating itself is called as the time period of the signal so how do we define the time period of any signal first of all time period is defined only for a periodic signal okay how do we define the time period the regular interval of time after which the signal repeats itself is termed as the time period of the signal here you observe that the signal xt is repeating after every 10 second so clearly 10 second is a possible time period of the signal i also discussed that the signal is not only repeating after 10 second but it is also repeating after every integral multiple of 10 second so clearly every integral multiple of 10 second is also a possible time period of the signal i hope that the concept is clear up to this part now let us come to what do we mean by fundamental time period by fundamental time period we mean the smallest time interval and it has to be a positive time interval so the smallest positive time interval after which the signal repeats itself is termed as the fundamental time period of the signal so what is the difference between time period and fundamental time period in the definition of time period of signal i only said that the time interval after which the signal is repeating itself is termed as the time period of the signal but in fundamental time period i said that the smallest positive time interval after which the signal is repeating is termed as the fundamental time period of the signal so clearly there is a difference between time period and fundamental time period and we will try to explain that using an example let me draw the waveform of the signal xt equal to cosine of t i hope that every one of you know how to draw the waveform of xt equal to cosine t that should come to you all right so let me draw so that's how the waveform of xt equal to cosine t looks like i hope that every one of you can draw this now observe observe the waveform of the signal between t equal to 0 to t equal to 2 pi this is the portion of the waveform of the signal between t equal to 0 to t equal to 2 pi this portion now observe 
you see that if you repeat this portion if you repeat this portion from t equal to minus infinite to t equal to plus infinite you will get this whole waveform this waveform is repeating after error this waveform is also repeating to t equal to minus infinity to t equal to plus infinity right okay see if you repeat this portion of the waveform that is from t equal to 0 to t equal to 2 pi from t equal to minus infinity to t equal to plus infinite you will obtain this whole waveform if you repeat this waveform one unit to right you will have this again if you repeat this you will obtain this cycle similarly if you repeat this waveform to the left you will obtain this cycle if you again repeat this waveform to the left you will obtain this cycle so similarly you observe that if you repeat this portion of the waveform between t equal to 0 to t equal to 2 pi from t equal to minus infinite to t equal to plus infinite we are going to get the complete waveform so clearly the signal is repeating itself after this interval of 2 pi so clearly 2 pi is a possible time period of the signal because in the definition of time period i said the time interval after which the signal is repeating itself is said to be the time period of the signal and as we see here that the signal is repeating after an interval of 2 pi so clearly 2 pi is a possible time period of the signal now observe so what did we get we get that 2 pi is a possible time period of the signal clear now observe the signal between t equal to 0 to t equal to 4 pi what is the portion of the signal this is the portion this is the waveform of the signal between t equal to 0 to t equal to 4 pi this complete portion right this is the portion of the waveform between t equal to 0 to t equal to 4 pi now see if you repeat this portion from t equal to 0 to t equal to 4 pi to, towards left you will obtain this particular portion from t equal to minus 4 pi to t equal to 0 right Similarly, if you repeat this portion t equal to 0 to t equal to 4 pi towards right, you will have from 4 pi to 8 pi, right? Let me make it a bit smaller so that 8 pi can come here. This is 8 pi, right? Sorry, sorry. this one is 8 pi so if you repeat this waveform from t equal to 0 to t equal to 4 pi towards right you will obtain this waveform from t equal to 4 pi to t equal to 8 pi so similarly you observe that so if you go on repeating the portion of the waveform between t equal to 0 to t equal to 4 pi from t equal to minus infinite to t equal to plus infinite you will get this complete waveform of x t equal to cosine t so clearly the signal is also repeating itself after an interval of 4 pi and in the definition of time period of the signal i said the time interval after which the signal is repeating itself it's said to be the time period of the signal so clearly t equal to 4 pi is also a possible time period of the signal so what did we learn that t equal to 4 pi is also a possible time period of the signal similarly if you do it at your home you will see that the signal is also repeating itself after an interval of 6 pi after an interval of 8 pi after an interval of 10 pi you will see if you do it at home after every integral multiple of 2 pi the signal that is of x t equal to cosine t will go on repeating itself 
so clearly this 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi 8 pi 10 pi all will be the possible time periods of the signal x t equal to cosine t because in the definition of time period we said that time interval after which the signal is repeating should be the time interval so as the signal is repeating after 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi 8 pi 10 pi time interval so clearly all these possible values are possible time periods of the signal so what did we learn we learned that 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi all are possible time periods of the signal right so i can generalize from here from what we have discussed is the time period the time period of x t equal to cosine t will be some n times of 2 pi right because every possible integral multiple of 2 pi here n is an integer n belongs to integer every possible integral multiple of 2 pi will be the time period of the signal right up to this part so the time period of the signal can be represented as n times of 2 pi now the question is what is mean by fundamental time period in the definition of fundamental time period i said that the smallest positive time interval after which the signal is repeating itself so between all the possible time periods of the signal i have to find out which one is the smallest positive value so what is the smallest positive value of time period nothing but when n is equal to 1 when n is equal to 1 i will have the time period as 2 pi and clearly this is the smallest positive time interval after which the signal is repeating so the fundamental time period is 2 pi so 2 pi is a time period as well as it's a fundamental time period because this is the smallest value of the smallest positive value of the time period but every integral multiple of 2 pi will be a possible time period of x t equal to cosine t so from what i have discussed i can conclude a very important thing which will come in use to solve few problems the point is I am dictating here you have to write it in words at your notebook I am not doing it here huh? I am just dictating if you have a signal x of t which fundamental time period is t naught then any integral multiple of t naught where n belongs to integer any integral multiple of t naught will be a possible time period of the signal I hope that the concept is clear up to this part so i have discussed the concept of periodic signals and obviously those signals which are not periodics are, are called as non-periodic or aperiodic signals that's quite obvious i have discussed what is mean by time period what is mean by fundamental time period how time period is different from fundamental time period and i also said that any integral multiple of fundamental time period will be a possible time period of the signal um, I will complete this lecture here but I would uh, like to say one thing I don't want to make a single video much longer the reason is very simple because it becomes a comparatively simpler for my team to process the video to edit and upload the video if the duration is not more than 15 minutes so I will not try to extend a particular video beyond 15 minutes and uh, so let's meet in the next video in the next video we will first discuss the concept of angular frequency fundamental angular frequency uh, we will uh, talk about what do we mean by the normal frequency of the signal how the normal frequency is different from the fundamental frequency we will also discuss a very important point whether dc values can be termed as periodic signals or not so let's meet in the next video